they make peppermint bark. I make peppermint bark. First, cover a 19 by 13 inch tray. With aluminum foil. My dog's name is Al, by the way. Now we have to get our saucepan. Sorry, Cheeky. Put it on the stove. Horse it up! With 24 ounces of Hershey chocolate and cook that on medium high till it melts. It melted. Add a half tablespoon of peppermint extract. Put it in your tray and freeze it for five minutes. Do the same thing to your white chocolate. Oh, that looks nice. Now, before you add the white chocolate, add the cream of peppermint bark Oreos. And hersh it up with peppermint bark bells. Now add this. Whoa! Add peppermint M&Ms. Hersh it up with Hershey candy canes and bar. Kiss it up with Hershey Kiss candy canes. Cholula. Freeze that for about an hour. It's done. Let's try it with peppermint whipped cream. <laughs> On the fifth day of Christmas, my deep fryer gave to me five golden rings. Four me to eat, three left to eat, two put in my stomach, and now I feel really fat and I'm making more. <laughs> Let's do a little recap of me throughout the decade. I was a big gamer back then. I also loved to ride dolphins. That's me in 2012 wearing a gold medal. That's amazing. That's me fishing in the Boy Scouts of America. Oh wow, that's a big fish. 2013 was a really odd year. I really don't know what happened in 2014. Like, look at that organism. How was that me? I really glue up in 2015. That's me smoking a cheese talkie in 2016 like a total savage. In 2017, I got a machete, and every single day, I invited people to come over to play real-life Fruit Ninja, and guess what happened? My parents took it away. I see why. I don't know why this picture exists, but I love it. Look at that. Now we're in 2018. This is me in Aruba. Look at my nice tropical Aruba shirt. We're in 2019 now. This is me in my bodybuilder phase, and this is me destroying my bodybuilder phase. And lastly, that's me trying the deep-fried Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, and honestly, it was really good. But yeah, it's been a pretty good decade. Today we're making snickerdoodle cookies. With my dog Al, of course. Since this is my grandma's recipe, I'm gonna summon a family member. This is my cousin Jack. Hi. First get an electric mixer. And beat two cups of sugar and two sticks of margarine, but do not use butter, that's bad. Jack, get two eggs from Cheeky. Oh, yes, you got the eggs. Beat the eggs, one at a time. Finish your dough. Oh, that is just delicious. Jack, preheat the oven to 350. Yes. Add four teaspoons of cinnamon in a metal bowl, then chop a cup of walnuts. Mix them in with a spoon. I go nuts for these cookies. Form an army of them. Bake them in your oven for 12 minutes. Whoa, they're done. These look good. I just have to plate them now. Now I get to eat one. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Today we're making a gingerbread waff, al 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 with Santa Claus. Now to prevent boredom, I'm putting the recipe up on how to make a gingerbread waffle so you guys don't have to watch me pour spices in bowls, because that sounds pretty boring. Look, Santal, we got our dry bowl. And our wet one. Wow! Now we just have to combine them. From wet to dry. Don't overmix it. That's a recipe for disaster. They have cinnamon Kit Kats. They taste like gingerbread. Aw, oh, they're shaped like little elves. Get Santal's claw. And chop your elves. Who's gonna make the toys this year? Put them in the batter. Spray and preheat your waffle maker. Add the batter and cook till it's ready. It's ready. Beautiful. Let it snow sugar and decorate it with gingerbread cookies. Ho ho, hold up. That's amazing. Amazing work, Santal. Almond joy to the world. The bread has come. The pan receives the toast. And now we hersh it up. And I'm eating the whole thing because I'm fat and I love food. It was a cold winter night. And the skinny legend Colin was getting food at ShopRite. That meant that his dog Al was home alone. Lurking outside was the two most dangerous criminals known to man. Harold the chicken and Herschel the Hershey bar. Harold's plan was to... 
Break the window. Enter the house. Go down the stairs. Yeet to the kitchen. And take his kids back. Herschel's plan was to dig to the basement, climb up the stairs, and take back his twin brother. Boom! The glass shattered and Al was alerted. So he got the easy button landmine and put it where the intruder was going. That was easy. Al was happy he defeat Harold, but he was frightened when he heard the digging of Herschel. He ran to the basement door. Oh no, Al doesn't have any traps left. His whole life he was told never to eat chalk Alet. But he had to break the system. He had to do it. Al, you just ate Herschel. Jingal bells, jingal bells, jingal Al the way. We're making a sugar cookie pancake today. But yeah, we're making a sugar cookie pancake with jingal Al and Elf on the Elf. First, mix together your dry ingredients. This is what we're using. <coughs> Delicious. Now for the other bowl, we're gonna... Get an egg and beat it. Once you've done that, add a third cup of sugar cookie coffee creamer and a third cup of milk. Don't forget to add two tablespoons of melted butter. Then pour your wet ingredients into your dry. That was easy. Spray a pan with pan baking. Cook your pancake on medium high for about three minutes on each side. Yes! Then get sugar cookie pop tarts and heat up just the frosting parts. <laughs> Assemble! Whoa! Top it with Elf on the Elf's Elf on the Shelf sugar cookie cereal. Now that's a sugar cookie pancake. Let's eat. Mmm! Today we're making mint chocolate brownies with Herschel, Cassanta, and Christmas M&M. First, make your batter. Here's the recipe. Let's go! Oh, I have to get eggs. Show me what you got, Cheeky. Amazing! Beat these in one at a time. That was easy. Finish the recipe and then... Hush it up! With a cup of Hershey's cocoa and beat it. Hey, that's pretty good. Set Mr. Oven to 350. Spray a 9 by 13 inch tray with Pam baking. Then add... Half your batter and then add... Fudge covered Oreos! Hush it up! With mint layer crunch. Add another layer. M&M it up with mint M&Ms. Kiss it up with mint kisses. Time to bake it. Bake it for 30 minutes. While you're waiting, make a twink at. Let's try it. Wow! The brownies are done! Cut it after it cools. Frickin' mint. I need to open a bakery. Ah! Christmas maze? What? What the heck? Uh -huh. Whoa, are we in the Christmas mansion? Follow the arrows? Okay. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Ooh, the zigzag arrow. Ooh, now it's a slopey arrow. Go to the basement. Where do I go? Go to the basement. Well, I guess I have to go to the basement. Okay, let's see what's in the basement. <sighs> go to the bathroom! Now I have to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'm gonna keep going. Now I'm in the gym. What's next? Go up the stairs. Whoa, oh my god, last arrow, last arrow. Whoa, wish your first at a Merry Christmas. I want a burrito from Chipotle. Yes, I'm about to eat this whole thing. That's heavenly. But I can make a Chipotle burrito too. With the Abominal Snowman. First, make your Chipotle guac al mole. Turn down your volume. Live it up! Now, boy, al your rice. Let your rice be! And work on your beans. Gotta get that seasoning too. Now just stir it. Then turn off the heat. Now make your chipotle queso. Warm it up! Do this stuff. Sorry, I only had a minute. Warm it up! Now assemble the burr. Edo. Just like chipotle. <laughs> the weather outside is fright foul. And this pie is so delight foul. They want me to make hot cocoa. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. What is that? Is that who I think it is? Yes, it is. It's the Abominal Snowman. But yeah, we're making hot chalk outlet. 
First get a saucepan. <laughs> then add in milk. Let it rain milk. Uh, yeah, we're gonna add sugar. Just a tiny bit. Just kidding, I love sugar, add more. Heat that on medium. Now get a cutting board and... Kiss it up with Cassanta's Hot Cocoa Kisses. Chop them. That was easy. Put them in your hot milk till they melt. They melted. Fill it in your Let It Snow mug. You thought I forgot about Herschel? Herschel! With Hershey whipped cream and Hershey syrup. Let's actually drink it. That's good. Add hot chocolate donuts. Today we're making turkey soup with Al and Brian the Band-Aid. First get your turkey bones. Put those in a pot, cover it with water, and cook on medium for about two hours. In the meantime, let's get ingredients. I can't wait for this soup. They sell giant candy. Hirsch it up. We're in the cereal aisle, but let's try a blueberry Pop-Tart pancake. Perfect. This pancake looks glorious. Yes! Pull the carcass out and strain it. Put your strained broth back in the pot with your meat from the carcass, with your vegetables. That worked. Don't forget about your herbs and spices. Go, Brian. Cook that on medium for about 15 minutes. Then cook rice. Ooh. Great work, Al. Here's a carrot. Christmas is all about giving gifts. The first gift is a Hershey pancake and it goes to my mom. I hearsed it up for you, mom. Thank you, Colin. That was easy. Mmm. The second gift is a gingerbread waffle and it goes to my dad. Here you go, dad. Mmm. The third gift is Hershey hot chocolate and I'm giving it to the kid that could have met Gordon Ramsay but didn't because he left because it was too cold. This'll keep you warm. Thanks, Colin. That's good. Let's get my dog Al a gift, too. Aw, oh, he's gonna love this toy. I'm gonna give it to him Christmas morning. I wish it was Christmas. <gasps> it's Christmas! Al, this gift is for you! It's a toy! He likes it. Ooh, what's in this? <gasps> no way. It's a wallet. Thank you so much, Al. If I ever sell merch, I'm gonna sell wallets. You can store the money if you had a wallet! This video is edited by me, not Reese.